Hey YouTube, got another video review for you today. This is another one to do with the kayak trailer. Hey guys, I'm infatuated with this thing. It's, there's so much customability you can do on these kayak trailers to make them so much better. And I think I've really um, improved on this thing to, I'm running out of ideas. And so I'm just gonna do a quick run around. A lot of the videos that I already have on here uh, of the different products on my trailer have already been reviewed. And so I hate to keep beating a dead horse, but I kind of wanted to show them all together and just give you a quick rundown. So uh, here we go. Uh, I showed you in the video, the WeatherTech uh, rod box and uh it's really just a side box but i use it as rod storage and you know tackle storage and i just got it put on so uh there's going to be a lot more videos coming up on how i'm going to rig this thing out and so just bear with me make sure you like and subscribe to my channel so you'll uh, get to watch all them future videos and then uh i'm gonna walk around to the uh back of the kayak trailer and you can see team melting on there it's just something i made one day with a router just playing around and uh i've got my kayak cart here this is uh the mag light car from suspense and it's uh i think it weighs like 17 pounds and it's able to haul up to 300 pounds it works really good been really impressed with it and then we've got the road shower uh, guys, what this is, this is a seven gallon aluminum tank. And what you do is you put water in it and um, you can see the little bung right here. You just put water in it. And then right here on this end, you can see there's like a little Schrader valve for a, a, uh, a bicycle uh, tire. You know, like how you put air in it. There's a little uh, nipple down there where you put pressurized air in there from like a bicycle pump or a small air compressor or whatever and then you can press the water and that the air in there and uh you've got a, a water hose that comes out right here and then you have a uh a little nozzle where you can see i've got high pressure water where i can uh wash the kayaks all off if they've got in mud or something and um uh, you know, it's just really handy if I've got dirty mess in the cooler. I can rinse the cooler out, and it works just absolutely amazing. So, uh, you know, if you've got fishy smelling hands where you've been out fishing all day and you've caught a bunch of fish, or um, and you, you don't want to get in your nice vehicle, and uh, you know, that's just a really, really neat tool to have. It's called Road Shower, and uh, second. I have, uh, I'm sorry, third, I have what they call the Creek Cooler. Uh, I just got it, but basically what it is, it's a uh, tow along. Um, it's like a little miniature kayak that you tow along behind your, your, your regular kayak. It has a little tow strap, and uh, it just hooks on the back of your any kayak. It just hooks in right in here. Or you can hook it on the side, whichever one you prefer. But uh, it's got a, a white lid on it right there and you just unscrew it and it pops off and you can put uh, a ice in there and store your drinks or, you know, if you need it for camping and you need the extra storage or for extra gear, just whatever you want to put in it. Um, it's called the Creek Cooler, the Pup. It's the smaller one. It's not the, it's not the larger one. Um, and let's see, we're going to move on up to the Siberian Cooler. I believe this one's their 60, 65 quart. But uh, this thing is, it's just a rigid made cooler. I mean, it's, it's bad to the bone. I mean, it's really, really heavy. Holds uh, ice, has a long ice retention. And so, you know, I, I just think it was the perfect cooler for me. And so I really like the, the size of it. It fits on the trailer well. And uh, you could hold a lot of ice and a, a lot of drinks in that thing. So anyways, guys, um, you guys have already seen the front toolbox here. I've got it on here to keep all my gear and stuff in, like life jackets and things like that, uh, fish and tackle. And, um, you know, that's pretty much it. Um, 
The one thing that I will say that I've been really impressed with is these NRS burrito pads. You can see on the bottom of them. A lot of people use uh, uh, pool noodles and things like that, but these are made out of neoprene and they have Velcro down the whole bottom of them. So they're really thick, as you can see. So your uh, kayaks are not just uh, getting scratched up on those bars. And so um, it's, a, it's a really nice set of pads and it just looks better than, than having the pool noodles. And other than that, that's about all the prod my products that I have for review right now. And uh, make sure you guys like and subscribe to my channel if you like this video and want to see more about the kayak trailer. And, you know, if you've got some more ideas of, hey, well, why don't you add this to it? Why don't you uh, put it in the comments and tell me what you'd like to see or if there's something you'd like for me to review. Uh, just, uh, like I said, just put it in the comments and, and uh, we'll see what we can do. So... All right, guys, um, I think I'm going to go ahead and wrap this thing up and make sure you hit the notifications buzzer at the top. And that way you won't miss none of my future videos. And I will wait till the next time and uh, talk to you guys later. Tight lines.